Hello, welcome to Menu Docs. My name is Vex, and welcome back to episode eight of the P Hue Web Dashboard. All right, sorry, it's been a long time since this episode. I know it's been like over a month at this point. Really busy with school and life and all that type of stuff. I'm sure you guys can understand. Anyway, so let's get into this video. Right, we're going to link the front end to the back end. Let's get started. This is going to be fun. I can't wait. I'm going to open up my text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. You, you guys use whatever you want to use. That's up to you. And let's get started. So we're going to open up our lights.js folder and that's in our static and then the JS. We need to edit the function quickly before we can link using the event listeners. Okay, sorry, I just have to quickly do something. So in our change color function, we want to pass a variable through the lambda function we code. So I'm just going to put C. You can really name it anything. And in here, I'm going to put in uh, C here, and then I use the or operator. So if C is null, then I'm, we're just going to assume that this is coming through the function. Well, this is being called through the page where you have to manually input data because if you check our colors.html page, we have pretty much got all our colors colors hard coded in here and when the function is called we'll hard code the color values uh, so that's all of that done now so that should be still working it won't really break and i think well trust me i know it's not going to break and i think and let's get started by adding our event listeners so we're going to add the four event listeners for the co four colors that we put on our web page you might have more than me depending on what you guys decided to do so we can just use the document um function and we can use the get element by id so the id is if we go to our colors.html it's going to basically call like it's going to look for this and there should be only one id per page that uh, specifies this whereas if you're using classes it will return an array um or an array with the objects of all the difference you can access per the classes that it finds um don't worry about that we're using id so we don't have to worry about it returning right so we can just put in our first color which was i'm just going to go with magenta because that's what i've got in my notes as the first one and now that we've you know called this we want to add an event listener so we can use dot add event listener and inside of here we want to listen for the click event um if you're wondering how the listeners work uh the basic and simplest way is Usually these things will use a uh, programming concept called a map and it will store. So this is going to register this event and it's going to store into a map. So, okay, so the name of this event is going to be click and there's going to have a listener, which is going to be a callback. And we're just going to pass a vector function. So when the process uh, detects that the person has clicked, it's then going to you know, call that map and say, okay, this event was fired. Is there any events that matches it? And if so, it's then going to call that callback function which is our lambda function we're going to pass now. So to create a lambda function, we can just pass um, empty brackets. We don't need to really get anything from it and then use our arrow function. And inside of here, we want to then call change color. So inside of here, we can go change color. Actually, we don't even need these um, these here if you don't want to, because it's really essentially just a one line of this. So it's it's all good and we're going to pass now our hex color code so that's also why we passed in c up here so for the hex color code for magenta it is ff00 ff and then we can do false here and i've stuffed something up oh, that needs to be there so that should be all working. Just add our semicolon at the end. Good practices to use that. Uh, you might be wondering why didn't we assign this to a variable? We don't really need to. I mean, if you want to and you want to access it later, you can, but I don't see a point in doing that because I can't see myself accessing these later. And you know, if we want to, we can always add it later. So it's just like, I'm worrying about now. So let's do the same thing we did above. Let's get our blue tag. Blue. If you uh, call the or add event listener, so we're going to pretty much essentially register this event, and we can do the same thing this time. We need to call it click as well. Now you might be wondering why isn't this um, clashing with this? Like, how's it going to determine between the two? Well, essentially, 
I'm not 100% sure. It's probably most likely going to have a separate little mini event listener for its own. It'll have some weird specifications like for this one. So you don't need to worry about that now. Just, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so let's call our change color function again. And inside of this, we need to put in the hex color code for our blue one, which was 007 BFF. And the same here, we just put false at the end. False. And semicolon. Same thing you did above. Get element by ID. And this one is going to be our green one. So for our green, add the click event listener. Or register the click one. And we can just use our arrow function, change color. And in here, we wanted to put in 0, 0, FF, 9, 5. And then just pass false at the end. Oops, what did I click? Cancel. I'm just going to do control S to save. Now let's do our last one, which was our red color. So document dot get element by ID red. And inside of here, whoops, we're going to register our click event again, like we did above. And to pass our lambda function. And this is going to, of course, call the change color. And for our hex color code for this one is FF002F. Now we can pass false at the end. And that's essentially all the coding we'll be needing to do today in this file. <laughs> let's let's try it out. So let's go to our terminal. Uh, if you're wondering what terminal I'm using, you can get this from the App Store. It's cool. Or well, we can check actually. We can just go to the Microsoft Store. I can go up here, go to my account. Oops, wrong button. Uh, my library, and then owned Windows Terminal. So I just find this one looks nicer so than the default terminal and you know you can open up multiple different tabs. I think you can even change the different one that it goes to. So yeah, it's found my WSL and you can see it's it's, it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, getting back into here, let's start now main file so python python 3 pi whatever your thing is will allow us to call the python 3 install which will be in your c program folders news or whatever it is all right that's all good also a cool thing about this you can click to control links and it's already taken me to the login page because it's checked uh to see if i'm logged in which obviously i'm not and now we can hit submit to log in. You know, we got our update on it. So I could put in tape and lamp. This one should still be working. I'm just going to put in like ash E. I don't even know if it's a valid code. So error check console. What's going wrong? If you look at the response, I'll just do another response to it. Um, screw you. 386 and color it says error check console and what this is if you actually look yeah it says object so it's trying to pass this and it goes object um yeah hey percent 22 hmol input element what was happening here is this is um i forgot to add dot value at the end of this i must have been removed somehow because it was working in the last episode and <laughs> probably just accidentally deleted it and you just need to have that dot value at the end to get the value of the text box here. Text box. Uh, it, it is working now. I just have to reset my cache. I just quickly went into incognito after adding that and it works. So just add that. It's just if, you, if you're some, for some reason doesn't have it, you're getting the same error. Do that and what's my phone doing? I'm so sorry. <laughs> and now we can go to our colors page and you can hit them and you can see in the video, my lamp that it's updating. And that's pretty much going to be it for today's episode. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, you can dislike it. And if you did dislike it, please let me know in the comments why you didn't like it. So I can improve on these videos. And I'll see you in the next episode. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys are running into problems and you know how to fix them, feel free to join our Discord. It's in the description below. And I'll be more than happy to help you out. I'm always happy 
when I get someone joining and it's like, oh, it's related to my series. I'm like, oh, I get to help someone. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. And thank you for watching and peace.